It is morning time, and this is the earliest that I have been up in quite a while, so... Look, beca because I didn't... <clears throat> I didn't go to bed again, because I have problems sleeping, I have like insomnia or, or something. And apparently my brother has it too, so I don't know if it's something that just runs in the family, or if it's something because we have bad sleeping habits, but all I know is that... There's a squirrel over there. All I know is that I have insomnia or something like that, because I've never really been able to fully sleep through the night. And it's, it's been pretty interesting, but it's fun because sometimes I'm up really early like this and I get to experience the world for how cool and beautiful it actually is, which is nice. It's honest to God nice because usually I'm out at night all the time because I hate the sunlight and it's rare for me to be out like this, especially without a hoodie on because I love hoodies, but it feels good thus far. So I figured I was just going to go outside and walk around a little bit and maybe explore, but before so, I was like, why not make a vlog? For my friends, there's a squirrel on the bushes. There's a squirrel on those bushes. Some of them bushes. We can go find them. We can go find them. Since we're doing this thing, but yeah. So pretty much, I thought it would be nice to make this one. I know you're over here, squirrely mix squirrely face. Squirrely mix squirrely face. Where you at, buddy McGee? I have a funny story about being back here. Um, let's see. So one time when I was uh, there's a guy coming, so we have to be quiet and sneaky. Oh, does he notice me? No, he doesn't. <laughs> Shh, you were in the bushes. Shh, you were in the bu fucking bushes. Oh my god, is he coming this way? This is gonna be so uncomfortable if this dude comes this way and sees that I'm just hiding in these bushes. How am I gonna explain that? There was a squirrel. Anyways, I got a funny story about back here. So if you guys take a look right about over there on that little area by that vent. Uh, you know my cat Strawberry, the fat, stupid one? Well, one time, I had got him a leash and like a little collar and I figured, I know Strawberry's autistic, but I'm gonna take him for a fun little walk outside. So it was nighttime, and I put him on his collar, and I got him on his leash, and I brought him outside, and we got right around on the sidewalk over there, and Strawberry panicked, and he ran this way, he tugged this way, so I, I went with him, and then he laid down back here, and he hyperventilated on his side. He was like, because <laughs> that's the thing that Strawberry does. He hyperventilates, and his tongue curls, because he's weird. And then he was back here, so I was like, okay, Strawberry, come on. So I had to pick him up, and I brought him inside over there. And there's a stairwell right inside. And Strawberry flipped out, and he broke out of his collar, and he ran upstairs, and just running his face into the wall. And I had to let him in, and then I had to pet him and calm him down, because that was not doing it for Strawberry. Oh, sir, diddly bobbity bibbity bobbity boobity flippity dabbity scabbity jabbity 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 No, no, Strawberry does not like that. So Strawberry is not allowed outside anymore. Because when Strawberry goes outside, he has basically a mini heart attack because he can't handle any any situation that's not normal to him. So when we moved here, Strawberry almost died. So when we moved to this apartment building around four or five years ago in 2012, July of 2012, uh, <laughs> we got Strawberry in the moving van and it was me and my dad driving here and it was my cat Strawberry and my cat Jojo. And Strawberry was just fucking hyperventilating up and down and it was okay because if I covered his face he couldn't see outside and then he wouldn't hyperventilate as much but the problem was was Jojo kept meowing okay I don't think that guy's there anymore I'm gonna stay back here though because it's nice and calm Jojo kept meowing like an idiot <laughs> and I was like Jojo you gotta stop screaming because you're freaking out Strawberry so Jojo's screaming and Strawberry's under the blanket going <laughs> and I'm like oh my god Strawberry you gotta calm the hell down you know, what would be really funny now is if someone came out of that door right there because they'd look to their right and they'd just see some weird guy sitting in the bushes like, la, 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 la. But, you know, that's pretty much how that is. So I really don't have much more to talk about in this vlog other than the fact that the promo cast is recording or is um, it's rendering right now. It's on its way up. And besides that, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all for joining me on my happy-go-lucky morning vlog. I'm gonna go get something to eat. So until next time, I'm Avenged One. <laughs> this is my new setup. This is where I'm gonna do all my vlogs from now on. Right behind these bushes, make people uncomfortable. They think I'm joking. This is my vlog corner now. So fuck the police, coming straight out the underground. <gasps>